Kawasaki has been producing some of the most well-engineered and instantly recognizable sport bikes of the market since the 1960s. But did you know that Kawasaki's vivid neon green hue wasn't always a part of their brand? Despite the fact that many people associate it with the company. In fact, back then, green motorcycles have long been regarded to be unfortunate, if not deadly vehicles. Kawasaki's bold reclaiming of the cursed hue was what made them famous. And it all started with a wild concept and a bit of luck. In 1968, Kawasaki had been creating motorcycles for over 5 years, but they were having a difficult time establishing their image. A1 Samurai has just been released and Kawasaki understood that they had a real chance at capturing the market with their bikes. But the problem is that their aesthetic tended to blend in with the drab traditional colors of their competitors. Back then, if you're going to see a red Kawasaki fly by you, you're either going to think, oh, it's a Honda. Oh, maybe it's a Ducati or even an MV Agusta. So the company needed to bring their name to the forefront of consumers' minds by doing something bold, something daring. George Hamawaki, the president of Kawasaki, acknowledged that while the company was steadfast in creating a quality industry-changing product, the brand needed to stand out among its competitors. This is why it tasked Kawasaki's national sales manager, Don Graves, with the mission of altering Kawasaki's image into a recognizable masterpiece. At his direction and national marketing manager, Paul Collins, Akashi designer, Chris Kurishima, and the Los Angeles area custom painter, Roland Sanders, better known as Paint by Molly, developed multiple options including the now famous wild green and white combination. Originally, no one was on board, including Hamawaki. Back then, green motorcycles had a stigma. They were deadly. And considering that racers are some of the most superstitious of folks, the presence of a green Kawasaki motorcycle on the track would lead to an uproar. But without great risk, you can't expect a reward. Kawasaki wanted to stand out against the rest and create an image that was as revolutionary as their technology. After much discussion by Kawasaki Motorcycle Management, the color was approved and supported by part of Kawasaki Motorcycle's annual promotional budget. At Daytona in 1969, Kawasaki Motorcycle's first lime green team drew a huge amount of attention and signaled the arrival of Kawasaki factory racing in an emphatic way. Soon afterwards, the first production Kawasaki Motorcycle to wear lime green or Kawasaki Racing Green as it was officially known was the 1969 F21M called as Green Street, a 238cc scrambler. As Kawasaki would say, they are a brand built on overcoming challenges. They strive for what was considered impossible and they wouldn't accept no as an answer. And because Kawasaki isn't afraid of a challenge, they continue to be one of the top performing and audacious motorcycle brands in the entire world. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you like my videos, make sure to press the like button. If you want to follow on my journey of loving motorcycles, make sure to press the subscribe button. And of course, make sure to press the notification bell. Don't press none. Adios.